Hey guys, it's Matt. I wanted to show you a new piece that I picked up. and Some of you guys may recognize this just by the logo itself, but this is a Palmetto State Armory uh, stripped lower. I uh, picked this up the other day. Extremely pleased with it. Uh, Palmetto is one of those uh, manufacturers for lowers at least you can find a lot of very inexpensive lowers I mean compared to some of the other manufacturers um, this lower is uh, really inexpensive compared to uh, some of the other manufacturers that you can find out there uh, although the craftsmanship on it is spot on with uh, any other uh, lower manufacturer you may find um, may be asking, oh, why didn't you get a Spikes for the money? Um, which these things run anywhere from, you know, I've seen Black Friday sale, they have these things for like $49. Uh, they usually go anywhere from like $80 to $100. Um, so it's a good price on it when compared, you know, you can look at it, Spikes that go for $100. And if you buy them straight from a vendor, you may pay like $120, $150. Although the problem is, is if you're watching this, if you look at the timestamp on this, which is a... Uh, February 18th, 2012. Uh, you may have to wait six and a half months to get your spikes lower. Um, most places have uh, canceled doing back orders on them because spikes is so far behind on them. Um, and I'll show you this here. Um, now I don't know. As far I've heard multiple things. I mean. I think these mil spec lowers are actually only made by just a few actual factories and then they're subbed out to a lot of these independent uh, armors and stuff like that that build their own rifles and I think that's the deal with Palmetto but I may be wrong. Um, this is uh, Columbia, South Carolina is the uh, home for this organization again. I got the cool little deal with the cannons crossed and the uh, cannonball stacked up so uh, nothing too fancy with it also too this one uh, does have the bullet picked grams on the side they do also make one with a fire and safe and then uh, on the opposite side is the same thing for fire and safe picked grams on it uh, you see this here is blank on this side but I've got something in store for that so you'll just have to wait and see what happens with that there but uh, and now of course this one didn't have, I've just placed this, I had an extra AR handle on it, but as you can see, everything's all milled out, nice big thick ears here, down on the, where the trigger guard would go, so, pretty good, um, this one is, uh, it's all mil spec, I think it's a, uh, 7075 T6, Aluminum. I mean, it's all mil spec. It's there's nothing different between this and uh, say like a Spikes or um, you know Smith and Wesson's uh, lowers. I think are all basically from the same deal. The only thing between the Spikes is their uh, anodized uh, aluminum uh, coating is a, a little different. It's uh, I've seen some other people show that it's a little bit shiny, whereas this one's flat. They call this one a uh, black hard coat anodized uh, series so it's a, a little flatter than most um, so this was pretty cool I'll tell you if you guys are looking for anything if you want to buy a strip lower uh, don't pass up on Palmetto Arms I mean I know it's not your your standard series set but uh, don't pass them up it's good manufacturer and uh, extremely cheap I don't mean no I mean, cheap as far as the pricing, not the build itself. You can compare this between a lot of different ones, but you can kind of see the uh, the milling done in there. I mean, everything is real clean, no real blemishes or marks. There's one little scratch right there, and that was me accidentally hitting it. But uh, the finish on it was perfect. So check that out if you guys are interested in a lower. Uh, but like I said, if you stick around... That will be different here pretty soon, and I'll, I'll uh, leave that uh, as a surprise later on, so stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have it uh, within the week, but I will divulge more later. Take it easy.